to install VirtualBox, go to VirtualBox website www.virtualbox.org and here you can see that VirtualBox runs on a variety of platforms click download if your main operating system is Windows then you select Windows hosts if you are running some other operating system on your laptop or desktop you can select an appropriate distribution from the list provided I assume that you have Windows so click Windows host and it will download the application file optionally you can download this Oracle VM virtual box extension pack all supported platforms as you can see here that it provides some additional functionalities such as support for USB 2.0 and 3.0 devices in case you want those additional functionalities you can download this extension pack however it's not a prerequisite so you can leave it I have already downloaded VirtualBox and the extension pack so I don't have to download them again so I'll show you how to install VirtualBox application you can hit enter key or right click and then select open which will show you the further steps if you are not having admin privileges then select run as administrator you will see this screen please note that you may get prompts for certain components that will be installed so you need to allow those actions this step is very important as network interfaces or virtual interfaces will be installed for network connectivity you may get some prompts so allow those actions you can finish it here once installed run virtual box and you will see this screen go to new in the name field you can give a user friendly name to your virtual machine I am going to install CentOS version 6.9 which is a Linux operating system and a copy of Red Hat so I am giving this name you can use any other name of your choice for example dev host or test machine there is this drop down called type you have a variety of operating systems listed here if you want to install some other operating system you can select from here I intend to install Linux so I'll select it and from the drop down menu for version you see 32 bits and 64 bits please note that you may not get 64 bit versions available for your operating systems because virtualization needs to be enabled in BIOS of your system so when you 
power on your laptop or desktop system enter BIOS and enable virtualization then you should be able to see 64 bits listed here here we can specify RAM size the actual amount of RAM we need for our operating system here you can specify a file name for the virtual hard disk that will be created if you want to provide some other location for this file where it will be saved you can click that folder icon I prefer to give my virtual hard disk same name as the machine name so it becomes easy for me to recognize later on here you need to specify the size for your virtual hard disk so I'll make it 20 GB you can enter any number there are several virtual disk types video is the native type of a virtual hard disk in virtual box you can select fixed size or dynamically allocate it if you select fixed size then complete 20 GB of this space will be allocated at once if you select dynamically allocate it then your disk will grow according to its uses but up to 20 GB or whatever number you provide here for the size this step will be a bit faster than selecting fixed size but if you select fixed size then for later on operations will be more efficient on the disk your virtual machine or CPU has been created you can check the details here go to settings because we need to make some changes here in the advanced you can enable copy and paste from your host operating system to guest operating system I prefer to select bidirectional so that I can copy and paste from host to guest and guest to host operating systems here you can give your virtual machine some description this helps you if you come back after some time go to storage the disk we created is listed here you can see the path to that disk for the virtual machine to start installation or boot we need to provide it a DVD or media so click that empty because uh, DVD drive has been created for this CPU and we can provide it a, a disk image or ISO image file so click here and choose your virtual disk as I intend to install 
CentOS, I'll select that disk image. Now that disk image is listed there. Click network. So you can see that uh, one network card is already enabled. You can select multiple. You can select host only adapter here if you want communication between your host operating system and guest operating system. As you can see this uh, virtual Ethernet was installed when we install virtual box so it is available if you want more Ethernet cards you can select them here finally click OK the complete details of our CPU configuration are shown here in the right panel you see the hard disk we created and the DVD image we provided they are listed here under storage this is very important otherwise our machine will not boot up click start depending upon what operating system you select you will see a screen similar to this one which will further uh, guide you or help you install your operating system as I selected CentOS 6.9 I see this is screen here however I'm going to close this machine because I want to show you some important things suppose in the storage you did not provide the disk image so let's remove it manually here click OK so under the storage you can see only the hard disk that is the virtual hard disk is listed but no DVD media if you start the machine now you will get some errors as you can see your system is unable to boot because no bootable media was found so let's close the system again go to settings go to storage and let's add a DVD image file again now start the machine so you see the system is booting from the DVD media we provided so that's a typical process for setting up a virtual machine or a virtual CPU and how you boot that machine from a disk image thank you